what's this movie? It's an 80s song, cheesy ass 80s song with people doing gnarly ass Don't shit on bikes. Fucking tricks. Dude. Well, hello there, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Confuse Breakfast Podcast. Do you remember the pure joy of a trip to the video rental store as a kid? Uh -huh. The excitement yeah. of walking down the aisles, browsing the names and the artwork, and finally deciding on the movie you were going to take home with you. Sure, it's hard to beat the ease of the modern era and streaming platforms where you don't even have to leave your house, but there was something truly special about making that trip as a child, picking a movie out by hand, and riding your BMX bike home to watch. On this podcast, we revisit and dissect some of our favorite childhood movies from that magical era to see if they still move us the way they did as kids. I'm your host, Mike Schulte, and joining me as always, the two illegitimate sons of Hollywood Mike Miranda, Sean Pryor, and AJ Vance. How the heck are you? <laughs> from different yes. fathers. Of right. course. Yeah. Mothers. Well, mothers. <laughs> Whoa. It's not how that works, Sean. I have no idea how it works. Yeah. Well, well, we are so <laughs> delighted to have you here with us today. If you're new to the podcast, you're at the beginning of an episode where we take a classic movie you love from childhood and give you every single bit of information you could ever need about the movie while dissecting it scene by scene. That's me. So, so stay tuned for all the fun. But before we get started, I want to tell you how to connect and support this free and ever-growing podcast. Always will be free. Yeah. First... Yeah. Give us a review on Facebook or your favorite podcast platform. It means more than you would ever know for us to log in and see that, oh, the five stars went up a couple. Yeah. yeah. It's huge. We love that. And breaking news, if you didn't hear in the last message, uh, podcast, Spotify lets you give star ratings now. If you listen on Spotify, you get in there and you just go, bam, and hit that five star. Sooner or later, they're gonna allow they're gonna allow you to review it too. Right. So yeah, just right. get on there, get them five stars, get your words ready to go, and once they do, we'll let you know when they. We'll, when we'll tell you. We'll tell you yeah. exactly. Yes. All right, boys, it's time to introduce today's movie. On this episode, we discuss a movie that you have either never heard of, or a movie that you and your siblings wore out the VHS copy during childhood because you loved it so fucking Fuck much. It. A movie that taught us to break the ice and follow your dreams. And that indie DIY methods can overcome corporate money-filled competitors if you have thunder in your heart. Every single time. A movie that most certainly caused a major increase in BMX bike sales across the country. We have, of course, talking about 1986 Rad. Roll that. Rad. Helltrack. Bart. <laughs> Crew. <laughs> Crew. <laughs> Gnarly. For those of you looking to get a refresher on the movie quick, um, Showtime subscription has it. Oh. You can do a one week free trial on that, but make sure you set your calendar to, to cancel that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you can also buy it's that, <laughs> it's that rare purchase on Amazon Prime for $7.99. I bought that, it, man. You can hit that purchase button. I was, I was trying every which way to get show, Showtime downloaded or like a, a new app on Amazon yes. or something like that, and it was just not happening for me. So yeah. I own this now, and I know AJ owns it. I own I own a a, a box set. I own it on Blu-ray and Ultra HD, 4K, which, bro. 4K HD, which, by the way, not really a big difference. <laughs> no, because <laughs> see, you can't you can't actually, if you don't film it in 4K. I don't think you right. can actually get I don't it think in 4K. Could, I don't think it works that way. Yeah, but you put but, 4K on something, and they're like, oh, okay. Ooh, well, man. Man. This costs four thousand dollars. It must That's jump right. out at me at the screen. <laughs> So first things first, before we review this movie in complete and utter detail, we like to get the pertinent, important details of the movie. Sean, <clears throat> that's your thing. Let's hear it. Okay. <gasps> Produced by Robert Levy and Sam Bernard. Written by Jeffrey Edwards and Sam Bernard. Mm. Edited by Carl Kress. Cinematography by Richard Lederman. Directed by Hal Needham. Needham. He needs Sam. <laughs> uh, he also directed Smoking the Bandit, uh, a great um Burt Reynolds movie, uh, well, Smoking Bandit as well, but uh, also Hooper, where, where Burt Reynolds plays a stuntman, and Hal Needham used to be a stuntman, so it's, it's, it's a good movie. And also the both Can Han Cannonball Run films. Here's the cast. Bill Allen, Lori Laughlin, Talia Shire, Ray Walston, Allie Weiss, Jack Weston, Maureen Thomas, H.B. Haggerty, uh, Chad, and Carrie Hayes. Um, yeah. A little tidbit about those are the twins in the yes. movie. Yeah. Rod um, and Rex. A little tidbit about them is like they they went on to do like 
probably the biggest things of anybody in this movie. Yeah. Uh, they wrote the Conjuring movies uh, and also like some of the Annabelle ones and oh, like Jesus. Crucifixion. So like, did, you didn't know that though. Like, did no. Because you, you, you wouldn't recognize them. No. You, you just oh, know the names. They right? look like they've written some movies. No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> During research, I'm like, oh shit. Okay. I like those movies. Cool. Damn. Uh, obviously. Look at that. I mean, look at it. Uh, the main character is based off a real person named Eddie Fiala. Fiola. 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 He also consulted on the film and did most of the stunt work for crew. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, lots of the stunts. Uh, as you, like, I, I thought when I first watched this movie, it was, it was all Bill Allen. It was pretty dope. I they covered up pretty well, I guess. There's a so. few we'll get to that maybe weren't so good for yeah, stunt doubles. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will get to that. 1986 also saw a similar movie in Thrashin. They oh, uh, they were kind of competing, kind of competing next to each other, which is just I think I own the movie. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's just the same story, just on skateboards <laughs> and Josh Brolin. Dope. Okay. Um, <laughs> some of the stuntmen got five hundred dollars per fall. Uh, so every like they especially <laughs> during the hell track sequence, which we'll get to, uh, was kind of a, a bitch to film. Yeah. Uh, they were um, they were kind of hesitant about it so some of them were like i like we need some sort of incentive so they said for every fall you get 500 bucks one of the stuntmen fell three times so it, like one scene uh, yeah <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's our boy hollywood mike miranda <laughs> yeah. yes. uh released in march 1986 rad made two million dollars on a three million dollar budget and uh the producers were not happy whatsoever mm. when the vhs and laserdisc came out the movie gained a pretty decent success for a long time for a long time, a DVD and Blu-ray were not released. Fans wanted a proper updated release, so Vinegar Syndrome finally released a 4K version for all to see in which AJ Which owns. I own, yeah. Uh, and that's uh, kind of it for this Dude, for now. I got an interesting one for you. Maybe, you. maybe you didn't come across this. I dug deep for this. So you said that Hal Needham was a stunt person. The, he is the acknowledged inspiration for Brad Pitt stuntman in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's right. Really? He was, he was Burt Reynolds' stuntman. He's literally what they based that character off of. That's amazing. That's, that's so that's cool. I didn't know it was Wonderful. Hal Needham, but I knew I knew yeah. they, they ba- based it that. off of uh, Burt Reynolds' stuntman. Hal Needham stuntman. was the one. That's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, so next we like to give the audience a little insight into what we thought about the movie the first time we saw it. We got to we gotta build that nostalgia rating before we strip it away. Sure so, do. AJ, we're going to start with you, man. Tell us what you what you remember about seeing it, what your rating was. We got to know. You always start with me. Well, your letters begins with A. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like the very first time, I'll tell you about the most important time. It's because I went on a basic, we went on this canoe trip with the Boy Scouts, right? And my dad's truck had one of the VHS players in the console. Yeah. Hell yeah. And with the little TV, oh, it popped yeah. down. I mean, that that was like the Ritz. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. It was like, ooh, man, that's, that's living large. And, uh, but we, we, the only VHS we had now during this time, like we had to do a late start. It was raining like most of the time. There was a safety issue. The river was rising. So we got like postponed like a day and a half for our like actual canoe trip. In that time, we mostly just sat in the cabin of the truck and just watched Rad because that was the only VHS that was in the truck at the time. <laughs> Sounds amazing. <laughs> and we just basically watched this on repeat. And I mean, I mean, I will tell you, I have seen this movie probably over 50 times yeah nice yeah so <laughs> i love this movie uh it's it's freaking wonderful i love quoting it i have to give this movie even being a kid uh i'm gonna give it an 8.6 8.6 sean what about you man uh the first time i saw this i knew a- i knew aj's affection for it because on our on our other podcast he had brought it up uh a lot and um so Too much even I th- yeah <laughs> oh yeah Annoyingly, yeah. Um, <laughs> have you ever seen Rad? So it's very no, I fucking have it. I'll just buy it for him. And hey, you just said the word Rad. Have you ever seen Rad? <laughs> uh, you must have seen the movie. No, it's not where the word comes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just think that that's where the word comes <laughs> yeah. from. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, so I bought AJ the that Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray for his birthday or something. I don't know what it was. Yeah. No. Um, and so the first time I saw it was with AJ down here in this basement. Ha- drunk just drunk. so hammered yeah and i had such a good time with it uh this is maybe like four or five years ago some maybe maybe, maybe. four three or four yeah um but i'd have to say back then it was a good time uh i'm gonna say i'm gonna give it a five give it a fiver well for me i i this is a 10 for me as a kid wow, this wow. is this is everything for me as a child the, the soundtrack the bikes hell track the underdog story 
Uh, absolutely plain and simple. One of my yeah. favorite movies as a kid. I bought it on bootleg DVD on eBay like 20 years ago. Nice. Uh, and that's how I rewatched it for this, uh, not knowing that I could actually get it in like 4K. So I, <laughs> it had like VHS lines going on it, yes. very blurry. Uh, but yeah, but that just goes to show you, like I may have been one of the first people that you would have ever known to have owned this on a DVD because I love yeah. it so much. Uh, yeah, so 10 for me, that puts us at a group nostalgia rating of 7.86 which, if you got to know how that compares to everything else, we are putting Rad, who, wow, uh, right below Lethal Weapon, right above Terminator 2. Oh, my God. It is like wow. top 10 <laughs> child nostalgia rating. <laughs> makes sense. So makes we'll perfect sense. We'll see if it changes. Stay tuned for the scene by scene. All right, but real quick, before we dive into AJ's segment, I want to explain something to you. This venture, while unbelievably fun and rewarding, it takes up a fuckload of our time. A bit. Uh, for the last episode, mm -hmm. I actually figured that including watching the movie multiple times, researching, preparing notes, driving back and forth from AJ's, recording the episode, editing the episode, and making the TikToks, that I spend an average of 12 hours per episode, and that is on the top of like my other jobs, my endeavors, as well as my own personal family time. I, I know you don't want to hear this stop stop story. You know, I know you don't want to hear it. Stop. stop. I know stop it's the stories. same for you guys. We need the support of our sponsors in order to keep us going, continuing to create this free content for all of you to listen to and enjoy. So when we talk about Cedar Ridge whiskey, for example, we aren't trying to force you into buying something. We're not just like, oh, hold on. We're going to talk about some uh, bullshit. Of course like, we're not. We are legitimately trying to tell you about a company that supports us directly and to top it all off, a company that genuinely makes insanely good products. Uh, I went over there the other day. I know I brought this on our last episode. They handed me this limited edition, uh, let's see, limited edition bottle of Slipknot Iowa whiskey, oh, yeah. honoring the 20-year anniversary of the release of that actual, absolutely infamous album. Fuck yeah, dude. Um, and they flip-flopped the formula. So from their regular number number nine Slipknot whiskey, it's 60% bourbon, 40% rye. Yeah, okay. This is 60% rye, 40% bourbon. What? Oh, yeah. uh, but the attention to detail is what I love about not only this whiskey, but Cedar Ridge. They <laughs> purposely took this uh, ABV to 51.5% alcohol. Uh, are yeah. you serious? Which, of course, if you're not from Iowa, 515 is the area code of Des Moines, Iowa, where right. Slipknot's from. So That's right. That, that little attention to detail is what we love about Cedar Ridge. And you can actually get this bottle in stores right now or on their website, uh, Cedar Ridge Whiskey. You can order it. They'll send it right to you. It's limited edition. You should do it now. Support these amazing people that support us and make sure you check them out on their websites, their social medias. Tell them you love Cute Confused Breakfast. Tell them you love Cedar Ridge. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We love you all. And sorry for the commercial. God, we'll get back to the show. Jeez. Cheers, boys. Cheers. All right, before we get into the film review, AJ does some research for us to show us the ratings, critical reviews. We need to set the stage here at this point. Yeah. I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm going to take a guess. Okay. I'm going to say it's it's one of the worst rated critically, but like most accepted fan that we've done. Like I'm talking the spread is probably out that of this I should world. check out. I I have to think that this is in fact one of the widest spreads that we've had on the show. Wow, shit! It absolutely is, Mike. Spread you are one hundred percent right. Spread and We're about to spread those right into the tomato yeah. meter. Yeah, <laughs> May meters, May mater meter. <laughs> the mater meter is uh, coming oh, no. in at forty two percent. That's actually Ooh. not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be way worse. Do you want to know where that ranks for us here? The I do. tomato meter desperately, which is critics. Uh, that is going to put this movie right below Harry and the Hendersons, right above Bloodsport. Okay. Okay. I yeah. mean, I that's good feels, company. Feels Under, about right. Understand. understand. It's now, understand. granted, we've only picked good movies on the show. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. solid. Uh, audience score from Rotten Tomatoes being now, like I say, ninety percent. 90% for from, audience for audience scores on Rotten difference. Tomatoes. Good Scott. Yeah. What's the IMDb? IMDb is 6.9. 6.9. You <laughs> want to know where that ranks? <laughs> I'm uh, fucking rad, dude. 6.9. Uh, 6.9. <laughs> that ranks us a little interesting here. That takes us to uh that is tied with The Burbs and Hocus Pocus. Oh wow. Hmm. For fan ratings. That Damn. feels kind of cult classics sort yeah. of right there it, it feels, feels right it feels kind of right i mean with harry and the hendersons and bloodsport too it's just like that's perfect company yeah yeah 
Uh, if we were going to go ahead and jump over to so a couple of critical reviews, uh, the critical reviews were just they were just not appreciative of this movie. <laughs> I've got to tell you, if you're talking like for for instance, L.A. Times is a forty out of a hundred, uh, technically. So the L.A. Times said it lives on its action and dies on its gab. It also would have it also would have been better without all those songs about catching the thunder and grabbing the lightning <laughs> and going person. for the glory. It sounds like a rejected ad campaign for Old Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> if it was, we'd all be drinking Old Milwaukee right now. <laughs> and right. S- the entire United States would You're damn right. listen up tours. <laughs> In movies like this, action is often enough, but here it's just not radical. <laughs> Cute. Uh, the so Globe, cute. the Globe and Mail of Toronto gave it even lower marks here, and that was a real quick one. Rad has the best opening credit sequence since the last James Bond picture, but it has nowhere to go from there. It doesn't even try. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. We're having fun. We're having fun. We're having a good time here. That's right. This is a this is a one star review, uh, entitled "Blinded by the Bike." <laughs> All right. So, so this is uh, 2005 by Toto Rojo, uh, number one. I'm going to try to make it through this one, guys. It's, it's a slightly longer one, but I'm going to try to make it through all the way, okay? Okay. This movie is so sloppy, it needs to wipe. <laughs> it's, it seems to me that every comment submitted for this movie was written from the perspective of, of a jilted boyfriend with no self-esteem. Sure, she treated me like dirt, used me for the meager earnings I made at the food mart, and left me for my stepdad, but I love her. I don't know. He's, he's just really going What's on a tangent happening? here. Yeah. Um, the movie is terrible. It should be described as the Karate Kid light on BMX bikes. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> the direction is sloppy, and the acting is shallow as the kiddie pool full of schmucks that try oh so poorly to defend it without a shred of objectivity. I guess. Mm-hmm. Anyone who makes it through this heap of hooey more than once, <laughs> much less bought a copy, has signed their own indictment for bad taste. <laughs> the scene with female le- with female lead riding into the dreamy dance sequence while doing those crazy bike tricks is the worst body double <laughs> since the stand-in for Jennifer Beals in Flashdance. Not going to argue. But at least the Beals stand-in was female. <laughs> <laughs> The biker in the gro- in the groaner of a sequence is clearly guy in a wig. This alone condemns the film to the sea bin. If you if you want to see some terrific BMX riding without the myriad of pap that this movie doles out with such artless abandon, I suggest a trip to the documentary aisle. <laughs> it's got a lot going on in yeah, there. Come on, man. Right. He's trying really hard in there. He made some okay points. I get it, but it's too much. Are there biking documentaries that aren't just like? Hot like Huffy. Yeah. <laughs> All of our sponsored artists of Huffy. Yeah. Just doing tricks like skate videos. Yeah. I had a Huffy diesel growing up. I thought it was really cool. Nice. Yeah. We should talk about that on Patreon. <laughs> that's, that's super cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's I like super that. super fucking tight. Dude. Last one for you guys. Uh, one out of ten, just entitled, Wow. <laughs> So I don't understand why this film has so many high reviews. I don't understand how it became a cult film like The Room just, be, just because this movie is, is, not, is just bad. Not amusing to watch bad, just bad. Its disjointedness and her horrible acting lead it to be one of the worst movies I've ever watched. Thank you, host of How Did This Get Made? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So there you go. Okay. Well, well, I think it's time to dive in to find out who, who's going to win here. Is it going to be our nostalgic selves from our first watch, or is it going to be these critics of one stars now yeah. with our critical watch? It's time to find out. It's time to All find right. out. My dudes, what do you say? We grab our BMX bikes, put on our pads, pick a corporate sponsor, and try to qualify for Hell Track. Dude. After we win it all, we will have plenty of time to bicycle boogie to send me an angel, take our SATs, and then go ass sliding. But for now, <laughs> it's time to risk it all for the thrill of the moment. Here yeah, we dude. go. Woo! The movie opens with teenager Crew Jones and his friends Luke and Becky delivering newspapers on their bikes. That day, Duke Best, owner of Mongoose Racing and president of the Federation of American Bicyclists, is holding a meeting about bringing professional riders to town to compete in a BMX race called Hell Track. After school, Crew, Luke, and Becky are chased by a local motorcycle cop in a lumberyard. When Crew picks up his sister Wesley and heads home, his single mother tells Crew that he can't compete in Hell Track because he has SATs to take the same day. Let me talk. Okay. Yes. You have the floor. Listen. We've talked about the worst intro of all time. 
Okay, it's speed. It's speed, and and mostly arguably, <laughs> mostly <laughs> because speed is like four minutes long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now I thought maybe that was the secret formula. Okay, of of it, like it being the long. longer it goes, the worse the intro is. Okay. This intro is three minutes and 55 seconds long of pure fucking awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best intro of all time. I got goosebumps yeah. the minute I hit play last night. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I just went, oh. I mean, at least it's like a like a catchy song. It's cheesy as oh, fuck, but at I least it's like. I fucking love it. Uh, okay, you know what you're getting. Like, uh, what's this movie? It's an 80s song, cheesy ass 80s song with people doing gnarly ass Don't shit on bikes. Fucking tricks. Dude. I mean, that's what this movie is, and the guys, the guys, right? What I that's all this movie is. It was the same way when I when I put this movie on last night to just to get one more rewatch in. Just one more. I was in kind of like a, a, a bummer mood, and I poured I poured a little bit of wine. And I was just like, all right, I'm just gonna like I gotta watch this. And the moment I put it on, I was just like, oh yeah, fuck <laughs> everything else. <laughs> oh yeah, because <laughs> it's not a bit. I just, oh man, I love it so much. And it, and it, and it, <laughs> and if you own the soundtrack like I do, yes, of, course, of course, you would realize that the song actually goes on longer than that. Yeah. That's not how the song actually ends. Good Lord. So it, they could have gone longer. And why they did it, I don't fucking know. Because <laughs> you know they had more footage to go We through. can't use the entire song. We have to get to the actual plot of this movie, <laughs> yeah. which yeah. is just this. But I guess we're going to get to it. We have some characters that need to meet. I guess we have to get there eventually. I, I thought there was a, there was a frame like that was like a, a lower level shot. Like it was like on the ground and it was just like tires like jumping and shit yeah. of them like doing the jackhammer, which, oh, oh, by the way, it'd be super fucking funny and weird to just see people doing that on the boardwalk. <laughs> and, uh, you know the, you know what I'm saying? Like the jackhammer move was like, no, <laughs> no, Sean, I'm picturing, you know, take the view that you just saw, but then get rid of the, the bike part of it and just show the guy going, <laughs> 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 but their faces. I'm just like, I can't take this seriously. And, and it's great. But there was also like a, a shot where it was just like a bike coming at the camera, and I was like, "There's a there are ghosts, there's ghost biking," there's and then it was just bikes. like a guy standing on like the 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 seat or whatever. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. "What is?" Going? <laughs> I was like, "I was super high when I watched this too." So, uh, <laughs> but it kind of added was, to it. They did cool stuff with like the uh, the foreground or the background being in focus, but the foreground would still have somebody else doing tricks that yeah. were kind of out of focus. Yeah. It was just I thought it was artistic as fuck. There's some shots of like the sun going down and like there there are silhouettes or when I'm doing the fucking <laughs> nose bunny. <laughs> tune in, please tune into our YouTube to see Sean do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Damn, dude. Oh, really God. fucking pounding that ground. He's just going to town, man. <laughs> do you guys think that this intro scene was a playoff of uh, the popularity of Paperboy on NES? God, I that hope That came so. out in 1984. It really like brought that to mind for sure yeah, yeah. absolutely um i like i i do i do like though like it's so it's such a cheesy 80s movie that does it does this trope where like he like fucks up a, a delivery of the paper or whatever he's like on the porch you idiot and he's like doing this he's like doing a spin porch. move on the street he's like that's not gonna help <laughs> yeah like i need it on my fucking porch yeah exactly. i'm old i can't walk out to my grass dude <laughs> flips it around <laughs> Have a nice day. But it's there's like, also people dick. like he, th- he throws a paper and like hits something or something like, and just like the neighbor's just like, <laughs> there he goes. There, there he goes. goes there he goes again. There's crew. Oh, oh man. He's I, really going to get out of this town. Crew and the boys. I found myself thinking about if this were happening in modern day, they wouldn't be like, oh, they're on oh, that crew. They'd be fucking Karens about the whole thing. Like, you yeah. rode through my fucking yard. Yeah, I'm true. taking you to small claims court. And they and then they'd be posting on their Facebook group for their neighborhood. <laughs> Did anyone see the paper one? <laughs> Is anybody else not getting their paper on their front step? <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> Just asking. Oh, got you it. Know, Is your bike tracks in anybody else's yard? Just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even mad. I just want to know who it just is. Just want to know. Does anyone camera, the outdoor camera, catch yeah. a bike rider? Maybe you have any nest footage they can use? I'm trying to file a report. <laughs> There's well, also a scene where like he's like talking, he, like, he's going by somebody, and some the guy says something to him. He's like, beat me up, Scotty. Oh, yeah, he goes through. Why? <laughs> Why do you uh, say yeah, that? Actually, you're right. I don't know why he said that. Do people just like do like this na- this neighborhood or this town? There's like, yeah, uh, two for one. It's like with <laughs> with no reference whatsoever. Just, just using catchphrases <laughs> yeah, to I'm each other. Like, <laughs> uh, five dollar footlong. <laughs> okay, you go crew. What the fuck are you talking about? 
talking about? Oh, but the, and then you get you get uh, we get an establishing shot of Burton Timmer. Oh yes, who is establishing <laughs> his goon status here? Yeah. He's riding yeah. his bike, which by the way, p- sidewalks are for pedestrians. Correct. And he's mad that people are walking on the sidewalk. He's got his stupid little bike with his coffee. Yeah. And crew hits him, and we're already establishing we don't like this guy Correct. right off the bat. One hundred percent. Burton Timmer. Tim yeah. Burton. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, Tim, <laughs> is. Tim, Tim, Tim Burton. Tim Burton. He's a bully. <laughs> Is, are you talking about the guys that, like at, at the school? No, I'm I talking presume? about the old guy. Old man. Okay. The old guy that's riding his bike that ends up later right. on. The world would be a lot better without kids. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that guy is in other movies just like with the same exact yes. outfit and the same exact bike. I think he just plays the old just biking who guy. who he is. Yes. Whoever he is. Actually, I was looking him up. So his name is Ray Walston. He's yeah. been in <laughs> his partial filmography starts in 1957 and goes like at least ten films a year till two thousand one. I mean, nice. the dude's been in a ton of movies. Hell yeah, he's Mr. Hand, Mr. Hand in Fast Times. What? Oh yeah, duh. Yeah, there he is. Good the call, teacher. Dude. Yeah. How yeah. did I not fucking Burton. think about that? It's the big one right there. What do you think about uh, Duke Best? Duke, Duke Best. <laughs> so he's the mongoose. He's the mongoose ambassador. Guy, right? So yeah. with this, with this thing, this is the. <laughs> Jack Weston. It just seems like so th- there's like the panel of people. Yeah. Like they're talking to the It's just the town the folk. fifty people yeah. that are in this town. Yeah. Um but it seems like they shot all of his scenes without the people. <laughs> it kinda yeah. did. Yeah. Right? Because he's it seems like he's talking to nobody. Yeah. Like he's like, and we're gonna get hell track. And then it like stays on him for a second. He's like All right. Yeah. Thank and then you. it cuts back to them. What about like, the kids? But well, yeah, and then yeah. it cuts to the crowd, but the, there's like rarely ever a shot of all of them That's together. True. And so it was like, uh, I can I can see the seams here, but it's you know it's, it's whatever. It's fine. It's <laughs> I whatever. did I did enjoy. I hated his voice. I think he's got a really annoying voice yeah. upon <laughs> critical watch. But I liked I liked some of the, the bits that he had. Like when he goes, I'm going to give some of my. He's working it out in his head. I'm going to yeah. give some of my own money. Yeah. And the guy goes twenty thousand. He goes no no. Oh, ten thousand. Ten thousand. <laughs> I did, I I did like funny. how the, the one lady stands up. I was like, we got to get these kids something or whatever. He's like, you're right, Mrs. G- uh, oh, oh, oh. Like yeah, he lets gray, it go. Gray. Gray. Yeah. Gray. Yeah. gray. <laughs> he has, he, he'll, he'll get like really nasally every now and again, too. He's like, what do you mean? You know, no. Job to know. <laughs> <laughs> just like. I think he's, he's like getting drunk yeah, at the, I think at the he's thing. He's just drunk at all yeah, times. He's just always drunk. He's always they're always just pouring Jack into yep. everything <laughs> they're drinking. <laughs> President of the Federation of American Bicyclists. Bicyclists. Yeah. Uh, is it Fad or Fab? Fab. 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 Yep. <laughs> totally rad, dude. And then you get then you get to the again. We try to be critical on this show. Yeah. Uh, uh, not. Not like let's try to think of like why this stuff's happening. How did they get this clubhouse? Yeah. And like where where was this and how do they have full total complete control access over this clubhouse? Right. Well, it seems to me since Sergeant Slaughter keeps coming <laughs> around and toying with them, yeah. it seems to me that they're not supposed to be there, right? Maybe. I Maybe could, they just they just do that and they just wait for Sergeant Slaughter to come. Half of me as a child thought that that it was just a fun like he really liked them and it was really fun. Mm-hmm. But then you watch it again and you're like, no, he's legitimately chasing them. <laughs> he's he doesn't have anything else to do. And he apparently. tries yeah. at the parade. He tries to get them too. Like yeah. he's trying to get them. Right. So I can't figure that out. Look, guys, so maybe they're not supposed to be there. And what would you get him for? <laughs> the, the important thing to remember is essentially this movie is one big montage. And it's yeah. one big Mentos commercial. <laughs> <Okay>? Yes, <laughs> that's the, all this, this is. scene. This the, the is opening, a Mentos commercial. The opening scene, the bike scene, like where the where they're delivering it, oh, you papers. Are, <laughs> you are. You definitely are delivering papers, escaping Sergeant Slaughter, <laughs> like <laughs> every, scene. <laughs> every scene, helping out uh, in the parade, and people applaud. Yeah. Like the <laughs> the <new home>. <laughs> <laughs> Mentos, the fresh maker, <laughs> and right. every single. But it's just one big Mentos. And commercial. with like even the neighbors who he throws the paper things at, he's, they're just like, yeah, they're like, no, <laughs> oh that kid. <laughs> when he finally gets the paper out right, and he's just like, yeah, dude, he <laughs> fucking oh, yeah. throws that paper <laughs> over a mountain. <laughs> that paper does not end up where it's supposed to. It doesn't to. go to the front stoop. That thing's on top of the building. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you know, you know, we do talk a lot about it, things that you bought as a kid that then you don't. You see it as an adult, and you go, "No way." Yeah. But there was a particular instance here where, even as a kid, I'm like, "Dad, that's not right, right?" They're just making that up, right? When he's riding over the pile of logs, mm. right? 
even as a kid, I was like, no you way. can't, you can't do that. No, no. that's, that's impossible. not possible. That is impossible. You're not, you can't do that crew. Nope. The, that is, you can see it. You can, <laughs> you see, can it see it in the, the shot. Board. <laughs> you can see the boards that he's able to ride on on top of it in between the logs. You're they like, didn't care. Again, there's the seams, but I'm not trying. I'm I was going to say, Bill <laughs> Allen can't do it, but the stuntman definitely yeah. probably does. <laughs> yes. yes. So who knows? Uh, uh, are we to his mom yet? Well, okay, we're getting there because I'm gonna I'm gonna be the first one on the prop. Okay. Okay. You ready? Okay. Uh, Crew Jones is riding home with his sister. He picks up his sister. Who, by the way, before we get to the prop, the kid that's wearing the Bart Taylor the man shirt yeah. is the most punchable face. <laughs> <laughs> that kid, you know, 100%. you think your brother's so cool. He's not Bart Taylor. Oh yeah, like, that, that kid Taylor. sucks. Yeah, he is terrible, <laughs> and he's one of those. He, he, you can tell. He's one of those kids that you you're gonna punch him and his his face is gonna be moved before his hair. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's like his hair is gonna like flop out of the way. He's just got this really weird haircut, and I'm not a fan of it. Like it, seem, it seems like the hair has like girth to <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, it like has some give, or yeah, like some heft to it's, it. It's, like, it's kind of got its own personality. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Not a, not a good one. Not in a good way. It's <laughs> shittier than his. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's my prop. They're riding home. He's got he's got his sister on the pegs. Yeah, he re- drives past the lawn with a giant elephant sprinkler. <laughs> yeah. I want the elephant sprinkler yeah. for my fucking yard. It's just what? Damn, what is that? It, it really is kind of glossed over the fact that it there's takes this, up a lot of room. It's like ten feet tall. <laughs> it's just spinning around, spitting out water. <laughs> I want it. That's my oh, prop. God, okay, that's, that's great. I like name that yours a lot. now. Shit. Um, you go, AJ. Damn it! You don't, uh, uh, you're all right. I don't have one either. No, okay. that's um, the rule, though. When somebody yeah. brings up the prop, everybody's got to go. Um, yeah, I think for for me, okay, uh, we're we're almost there. But it's Bart Taylor's mongoose BMX tank top that's embroidered. That's I, the one. I nice. want that. That's the one. I want that. Yeah, I want Sergeant Slaughter's aviators. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Yes, probably like the the no, the nose things probably smell like his mustache. <laughs> probably smell like so wax. I want that. Now we're to mom. <laughs> okay, <right>. so <laughs> Talia Shire is obviously phoning this performance in mm. as much as she can. She basically just took everything for that she did with Rocky. <laughs> she Rocky Four was already done. She's already been in four Rockies at yeah. this point. Yeah, I just. I don't like her in this movie. Like I'm, I like her as an actress, and I'm sure she's a great person. Um, but it it just it just seems like every time she's on screen, she's just like, okay. It seems like Bill Allen, the actor, is annoying her yeah. on set. <laughs> like they, like he. That's, like they, but that's like her character in every movie. Yeah, that's true. I, I did. <laughs> I half ex- I half expected her to just come out of, out of somewhere and just say, "You can't win." Ra- Crew, <laughs> like it's just like catch herself. It's just like well, it's like the whole scene where he like puts his sister in the in the garbage can, yeah. right? Yeah, and that ta- about- that takes forever. Yeah, <laughs> like you can see her just like watching, just like okay, get it right. Get it right. You better okay, put the lid on, put the lid on. Now say the line. Yeah. You're not doing it. Yeah, <laughs> like like it took like 15 takes just to do that, and she's just like dejected from this entire movie okay. she just knows how to how to crush a man's dreams rocky <laughs> crew she just knows how Never to make smiles. a dude Never she's just smiles. always just telling the dude to just give up just I, not <laughs> even at the end she's just like <laughs> yeah SAT's next weekend right right <laughs> no i had to look this up because as a kid i'm like oh whatever it was before rocky yeah she got famous but no it was after rocky four so i'm like why was she in this movie yeah so she was married to jack schwartzman Oh, who produ- his production company made this movie? Okay. Yeah. In fact, at the beginning it says like Talia film, yeah, or something like really. That. Is that yeah. based on her? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh so, my god. So she felt the need to get into this, which, by the way, her two sons, uh, John yeah. and Jason, Jason Schwartzman of acting fame, right. Phantom Planet. Yeah, yeah. John Schwartzman's company, Utopia Media. In 2021 was the one that just released a 4K restoration of Rad in honor Vinegar of Vinegar their... Syndrome? No, this is apparently someone else did it. Oh, okay. Or oh maybe maybe it's the same Utop- Utopia Media as John Schwartz. I think they have an uh, association with okay. Vinegar Syndrome. Okay. So, yeah, so that was in honor of their late dad, who has passed away, obviously, Jack Schwartzman. So that I'll made a lot more sense when I realized that. But she still phoned it in. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, I like that. I like it better now. I'll watch it with more disdain or a, le- a little less disdain. A little less for disdain. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, well, it's didn't I, do it for me. I, I just to to. I know we're about to move off of her, but 
when she shows up in the very beginning of this, uh, and she's outside unloading groceries, what the hell is she wearing? What the hell is she wearing? It's like this red smock thing, and then she's got this like brooch with like it looks like a <laughs> like a like a dryer sheet is like stuck she's to the her hand shirt. For the king. Yeah, like exactly with this brooch, <laughs> and I'm just like I'm like, what is going? Is this 80s style, or does she have a very specific <clears throat> job that like makes her wear this? Listen, AJ, I'm a lot older than you guys, and you weren't there in 1986. Okay. <laughs> cheers, me. That is the drinking game. <laughs> <That's cheers. laughs> when I say that. <laughs> You weren't there. You don't understand. I could feel what 1986 was like. I don't. No, I don't. Reagan, man. Ah, Reagan. (laughs) (laughs) Reaganomics. Uh. All right, let's move this. Okay, cool. The professional riders arrive for a parade. Bart Taylor with Rod and Rex Reynolds are unimpressed with the small town. Later that evening at a high school dance, they show off their superior fashion and dance moves. Crew catches the eye of Christian Hollings, one of the top female riders in the country, and they both bicycle boogie to the delight of the crowd. <laughs> I can't wait to get to that scene. Okay. <laughs> tell me tell me you turned the captions on while you watched. I didn't this I did. time. Okay. You did? Yeah. So the parade scene had two gem quotes that I <laughs> never heard as a kid. <laughs> okay. The, the parade's rolling in town, and you hear in the background, somebody goes, Hey, Luis, can I have a ride? Uh, it's, the, <laughs> it's like the town homecoming queen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Somebody goes, can I have a ride? And then they show, they show the fucking the old guys in little go-karts. Yeah, Somebody yeah. goes, hi, Grandpa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but fucking died at both of those. It's, this, it's the most quintessential tiny town parade. Yeah. We got we got a couple of SUVs. We got the the Moose Lodge, who's who's doing the, <laughs> yeah. everybody's grandpas. Everybody's grandpas riding the cars with the little hats, and then <laughs> everyone knows what they do there. You know, <laughs> yeah. No, one, you don't want to know if you don't. No, no but, you got to be a member. Uh, yeah. Would you guys ride a bike on a bus? No. On, you mean on, on top of on that top semi? That semi? The semi, yeah, yeah. Don't they even make a com- like yeah. crew and his friends even make a comment about that? They one, go one hard stop. One hard he's, stop. He's, he's gone. Done. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's terrifying. Yeah. yeah. Must be good. That Must was be cool. Good at what he does. I didn't think it was cool that uh, Bart Taylor stopped the entire parade <laughs> just to go talk to some ladies. Like, didn't he? Yeah, he did. The, it was yeah. an ongoing parade, yeah, yeah, and he's like, real quick. "Hang on a minute, fellas. I'm just gonna stop doing what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, go go see if I can flex on Chris. Is there is there like some parade commissioner? Is there some like yeah. parade police? I mean, Sergeant Slaughter had actually <laughs> he's showing up. He's doing he's got other more things, things that aren't important at all. <laughs> right, right. And so is like, is there no one just be like, hey, we need to move this along? Like, yeah. we only have this street for like three hours. Right. I mean, <laughs> Jesus and, Christ, Bart. You just it's got Bart the fucking Jesus Taylor. Right? Bart. Yeah, he he is the man. Okay. Okay. So it's important. And you also I think it was more important that we got to see his tank top. So I want that tank top. He's wish.com William Zabka. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he is Johnny from Karate Kid. Yeah. He's a wish version of Johnny from Karate Kid. He he oh. just has this he just has this look on his face all the time of just like, yeah. I wish I was somewhere else. Yeah. It's, just, it's just constant. Did man. you do your research on Bart Connor? No. Okay. It, isn't this like? Wasn't this dude, like one of his first roles? Dude, dude, listen to this. Okay. Bart Connor won two fucking gold medals in gymnastics at the 1984 Olympics. Oh my god. He was a gymnast that uh, Hal cast him and was like, "This guy's very athletic and good looking. Like, I'll get wow. him in the movie." Uh, he married Nadia Comaneci who is like Romanian all-star gymnast and he's super into like uh, special Olympics and like he's a very very cool dude nowadays hmm. but I don't think acting was his thing. Oh no. No, no no, no. <laughs> he, he wasn't that great in the movie but uh good looking guy, very good in shape and yeah like Gold medalist wow. gymnast from 2 years prior. Damn dude. It was crazy. That's insane. Well, to, add, do that. to add to that a uh, crew's friend Male Luke? friend, Luke. Uh, Luke. Luke. Yeah. Luke. He actually was the ninth Canadian to uh, climb Mount Everest. <laughs> oh, my that. God. And he did it fucking twice. He did it twice? <laughs> yeah. So everyone went on to do better things. <laughs> It's a great launch pad or you know, kind of filler for doing <laughs> yeah. other things. Yeah, just I'm going to be in a movie, and I'm going to go be on top well, of the world. Yeah. Well, to be fair, again, this is much like Monster Squad. We heard from our friends uh, Andre, and they and they talked about how this movie, like th- they put so much into this, yeah. and then it comes out, and it literally five people fucking see it in yeah. the theater, right. and then yeah. it disappears. So all these people just said, well, that was a fun experience, I guess. Uh, well, move on to other stuff. Yep. I mean, 
it it took multiple years. It took it was this pre internet to where you didn't even know that so many people love this movie. Right. This was the movie you went and rented from a V from a blockbuster just over and over and over because that was the only way you could consume it. Yeah, and yeah. then like once those were all bought up, it's just like yeah. there is no way There's to see no it. There's no more. Yeah. Until like that vinegar syndrome release and then subsequent, you know, streaming stuff and everything yeah. like that. Jeez. But so if you're Luke in this movie, you're like, Yeah, better think of something else. Let's I mean, if you're Everest. if you're asked to be in a movie and, and the director's like, Hey, I want you yes. to be in this movie, you're not gonna say no. No. And then you're gonna go on to do climb out Mount Everest or whatever. I think the way he like <laughs> the way he cast Bill Allen, the crew, um, was he just like he saw him in a different movie. I think it was like a he was in a few. It was like Twenty One Jump Street or it was like a TV something like that. It was some sort of TV or some sort of yeah some yeah some drama or something. Uh, as just like a bit player. And then he asked him to come in to just uh, read for it, quote unquote read for it. He he literally sat him down on a mongoose bike and he said, "You got the part." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So, do you know? I even know if this guy can do lines or like yeah. Doesn't matter. if he can work with Talia Sh- Yeah, Talia Shire. Shire. <laughs> Shire. No one can work with Talia Shire other than sl- sl- Sly Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> what What were the twins wearing in the dance scene? So, <laughs> I've got I've got the download. I, I that's why I set you up because I know you're going to tell me what um, the fuck they were wearing. They bar they literally <laughs> borrowed buy it? those fucking <laughs> Xanadu suits <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, and like armor the wings? <laughs> yeah <laughs> they borrowed those costumes from the show v do you, know, show you guys know the v? show v it's an alien show okay <laughs> so it's these like, are like it's like literally borrowing costumes from star trek <laughs> oh my god but but it's such why a, they thought that was a good choice and it was this is gonna be super cool but it's I don't know. so perfect because they establish their fucking dominance in yeah. dancing in oh, yeah. fashion oh and, yeah and <laughs> they just show up and they're like good Get off the hey! Give us some room, lady. Hey. Take that nerd with you. <laughs> Get some drink, man. Yeah. Ooh. The weirdest dance moves of all time, but like, yeah. I'm into it. Yeah. No, it was it was really weird. You know that those two those twins have done more than just dancing with being that in sync with each other. <laughs> they've they've fallen into some weird spots, and uh, they kind of have the same cycles. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. They well, there is the a, same women. <laughs> There's same a women. dance move that suggests that Rex does. The girl, and then the girl does, does rod. rod. There's yeah. a dance move that suggests that. Yeah, there is. They're literally just Power Rangers not wearing their helmets. They're, d- <laughs> they're just... <laughs> this is what it is. They're just Power Rangers. <laughs> the, the beige Power Rangers. <laughs> they're the beige. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're the most bland Power Rangers. I, I'll tell you what. Uh, upon this rewatch, uh, not I can't remember the girl's names. Christian? Like, well, not no. We'll get to Christian here, but uh, we've got the two girls. That, we've got Foxy, Foxy and Tiger. So Tiger. Foxy, come on, Tiger, let's boogie. Foxy <laughs> is <laughs> Foxy's gorgeous. You just sound like a radio DJ. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Tiger, let's boogie. Come on, Tiger, let's boogie. All right, now get we're gonna post. listen to. Come on, Tiger, let's boogie. All, All right, ninety five. Looks like Bart Taylor and his crew are gonna show us some moves. <laughs> 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 you are that radio announcer. <laughs> you need that job. Which was weird that there was a radio announcer there. Anyway, that's fine. He kind of comes out of nowhere too, like the DJ or whatever. Yeah, it's really weird. But I, I found in modern day watch that uh, that Foxy, Foxy was absolutely beautiful at the dance scene. Like okay. she she was a very beautiful woman. Sure. But then I want to get into the bike dance. Okay. Yeah. But first, I want to tell you a story. Uh, I know there's a listener out there, a friend of mine, Zach Westerdahl. He played bass in a band called Ten Grand. It was originally called Divide of Blue. One of the best hard- hardcore bands in the entire history of the fucking world. Uh, I know he's listening. I ventured down into I- I- Iowa City, into the IMU. There was a free outdoor concert once. Yeah. And I walked up, and there's this hardcore band playing on stage. I'm like, this is pretty cool. And they go, uh, this next song is called Bike Dance. And and I was like, bike dance? Bike are dance. They, are they talking about rad? And all of a sudden, Please. you hear... Some, somebody from like behind the microphone goes, send me an angel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and then they played a very hardcore song that has n- the best drum beat I've ever heard in my life, but nothing like send me an angel. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> but they just called it bike dance in honor of rad. This scene, I know many people hate this scene and they think it's the worst scene in the movie. Yeah. I still think this is fucking awesome. So do I. I think it's Beautiful. I do too. <laughs> AJ, thank you so much. I love it. Because so now much. we outnumber Sean, who's going to hate this. Yeah. Scene so I, much. I don't hate it, but I don't <laughs> love it. I, I think it's fun. It's and I like the the way they do it and everything because, like, you know, like the close up shots 
of them like moving and like she's standing on the bike that's on one wheel. Yeah. Impossibly. And she's just like <laughs> The slow motion works. The slow motion works. I mean, it, it brings it. You know, like I like it. I like that kind of down, down and dirty kind of filmmaking like that. We're just like, we're just gonna get away with it just by doing this. You know, <laughs> light it pretty, and we'll just put her on some like spinny thing, and we'll slow, we'll slow the frame rate. Oh, it's, and and make sure you put the best song of the eighties of the 80s. in the history of the eighties in the background. And yeah. this we'll brought this brought it to fame. Yes, this like yeah. made it popular, right? Yeah. It's, it's one of the greatest. M- songs in cinema <laughs> then paired with some of the okay. greatest <laughs> okay the absolutely greatest <laughs> footage in slow motion that's Coming ever graced the, the TV. Club, <laughs> the end of the breakfast club right. Right. yeah it's, the it's, song that plays nine times in that movie me, you know it's not your favorite song <laughs> 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 but the, i'm just saying but you just i'm Ugh. you got crew jones just spicing up the world you watch out uncle jesse okay <laughs> So I'm going to tell you right now, Crew Jones is on a warpath and it's paved in most moist bicycle seats. It is just moist <laughs> bicycle seats. But, but I'm but, telling you. <laughs> but AJ, yeah. this is the moment where Lori Laughlin becomes every childhood crush. Oh my God. The, I mean, the, yes. The look she gives uh, Crew Jones when he's up on the railing, like Ugh. that slow motion look. Then as an adult, you realize... You know you felt something weird as a kid, but you didn't know what it was. But then as you, as an adult, you see Your that slow motion shot of her thrusting into the seat of the bike. Yeah. That is <laughs> clearly a, a, a phallic penis. Yeah. No, it is. Like, you watch that scene. That is her thrusting into a penis bicycle seat. Uh, yeah. And you don't know why as a child you thought weird things about that. And then yeah. as an adult, you're like, Lori Loughlin. And then the next Laughlin. day at school, you go and climb the pole and you feel funny. <laughs> And your pole feels funny. Yeah. The yeah. Cedar Ridge whiskey is really getting to me. <laughs> <I'm sorry about laughs> did I say what I just said? I think you did. I, I do like to, when, when they are dancing, you can tell also that they filmed it 90,000 times. <laughs> yeah. And the audience around them are just like, Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ. <laughs> and they're, they're clapping on one and three, two, by exactly. the way. Exactly. <laughs> they're not keeping on beating the song at all. <laughs> they're just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and they go again, they're spinning around. Looks like I'm Christian and Bart Taylor are going to bicycle boogie for you. <laughs> are bikes really that cool? Yes. Like, like, what's what are we doing here? <laughs> oh man. Oh. Can I get five hundred dollars per fall? I will fall right now. She she just looked at crew just with the when he was up on that like balance beam, <laughs> and she's like <laughs> looking up. She's just like I'm this telling is, you. This she's is like it. wow. I'm telling you, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's I don't a know. fun scene. It, like. I mean, all the tricks that they do is it's like yeah. fucking Rodney Mullen on a skateboard. It's like Jesus yeah. Christ, how it, the hell it, are they doing this? Yeah, absolutely. You know, but yeah, it's. I mean, it can go on like for a long time. And you're right; it's mostly we're gonna get to three more montages probably. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, <commercials. laughs> um, it's fun to watch. It is. I and the, the best is how bad that stunt double is. It is. I didn't notice it as a kid, <laughs> but the best is Got right it. at the end. The they're playing the tom, the electronic troms, and the and the song the song's gonna end. And the, the the guy that's playing fucking Christian does like yeah. a <laughs> triple loop, and then the lights go out, and she's just standing there, not S- right. sweating, <laughs> not sweating, hair not out of place, hair perfect place, and like, oh, <laughs> same with crew, and he's just like, okay, <laughs> just, I'll tell you what, I don't know, I think whoever that stunt double was. was Pretty nice ass, though. Yeah. I'm telling you guys. Hey, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty nice goatee as well. Pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really kept that thing groomed. <laughs> so, crew and Christian get closer. She teaches him how to backflip, and they go on a date. Qualifying for Hell Track takes place, and after a few grueling rounds against tough competition, crew qualifies for Hell Track. His mom scolds him for lying to her, but agrees to let him chase his dream. Okay. So, after the dancing scene, he just runs away. He just goes. <laughs> Dude, he's got no fucking game. What's he doing? I, I, it's it's like they were like they had no room in the script like for a transition. Like <laughs> we need them to talk a little bit after this. Probably let's yeah. have them do that. But like, what do we do after? He's like, he runs. He, r- <laughs> he rides away really fast. He just he just goes. Dude, he's okay. Got, wait, they like, don't have you, a, they don't have a moment or anything. You why did you, you leave? Yeah. <laughs> he's got no game because even before that he was that's true. He was showing off for like his other girlfriend. Yeah. Hey, Katie. watch this. Watch this, Katie. <laughs> Katie, watch this. And that, Who, that by hurt. the way, looks older than Bill Allen in real life. <laughs> <laughs> that girl does just looks You're not so look, impressed by me. Yeah, that girl does not look like she's in high school. Go that's, ahead. Sorry. That's, no, that sort of that sort of hurt me a little bit watching oh. 
him like do stupid things for his talents to show off for girls. I was like, Ugh, oh. that was that. Oh wow, I did that. Oh no, I? yeah, like want to watch me draw. <laughs> Want to watch? Want to watch me watch horror movies? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> you can't. We're gonna put a barrier so you can't see the movie, but you have to watch me watch. Yeah. And so on this part, they had the yeah. twins actually stand like that for a reason. It's so symmetrical. You see? You see? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh no. I love you guys. <laughs> I think I love you guys. Have you ever been ass sliding before? No. I mean, no, because there wasn't a magical slide <laughs> that existed in Who my. Who maintains that water pump? <laughs> <laughs> Does someone turn it off and on? If that's a free flowing, just like water pump thing, that's not clean water. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want my ass or my balls no. or if I was a girl, my vagina <laughs> near that yeah. at all. I don't, I don't want anything to do with that. And uh, let alone just jump in with all my clothes on. <laughs> yeah. like, wasn't any thought I to this? Like, <laughs> you take this your is, shoes off. This, this is, is the montage where you see that they have zero fucking chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> like, they really don't. Because after after like all this, they're like he's like they're like standing. Yeah, he's longingly lo- looking in the distance. Yeah, and the way uh. they're holding each other is super awkward. Like they're like s- both fidgeting. Like they're <laughs> like they can't. They don't know what to do with their arms with like each other. Their hands. Like should we touch each other? I don't know. I just met you. I don't know. I'm supposed to be 17, so. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's like they're they're like she like throws that rock behind him. <laughs> And then they start about. they start chasing each other on the rocks. I'm like, that is so dangerous. <laughs> like, <laughs> where are your shoes? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're wet as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. So we get we get to the thunder in your heart, the qualifying races. Yeah. I think this is probably the best sequence of action in the entire movie because it it shows off the absolute skill of. BMX riders, like when you see them actually riding as fast as they can, yeah, yeah. it's and crazy. how hard that really is to do. You like think about oh, yeah. that. Uh, I, it's it's incredible. I love that song so much, "Thunder in Your Heart." Oh yeah, <laughs> and I love wa- like I would just watch this scene over and over and over as a kid because it oh, was man. so dope. I do have I uh, on the DVD uh, box set that I have. It's a Blu-ray. A Blu-ray. Sorry. Um, that's right. He's like, I, I sprung for the Blu-ray, asshole. You're going to say it. <laughs> Limit, limited amount. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, no big deal. Red disc. It's awesome. It's got. It's even got like the holographic front and everything. Cover. Yeah, and yeah. it's got a poster, which will be hung up in this room. Absolutely. So, but uh, it has the music video to that song. There's a music oh, video. Oh my and it's god! Great. If you guys want to see Farnham? it, yep. If you guys want to see it after this, uh, we uh, can watch I it. I do. <laughs> let's let's do a live commentary as we watch it. <laughs> Wonderful for our Patreon. <laughs> Done deal <laughs> for our Patreon. <laughs> and crew, crew, as a modern day watch, he cheats multiple times. Uh, you race. can't go off track like that, right? He goes off track many times. Like even in video games, no. you, c- you can't go like it's like out of bounds. He, right? He he even on that last and final race, he's out of bounds. He's on the pavement, right? And yeah. I'm I'm assuming that they they did it on the grass to be like, oh, it's terrain, you it's know, terrain. And yeah. he goes on the pavement and speeds way up, and then yeah. he ramps over like a barrier. The barrier, yeah. yeah. It's nobody it, nobody cares. The man is cheating. The man in, is cheating. In every heat, he cheats. And all that Duke Best had to be was like, you cheated. You didn't win. Yep, yeah, that's all he had to say. So I actually... Yeah, I saved my 10000 Yeah, <laughs> $10,000. There, actually, we, there's a stipulation in the rule books where it says you can't cheat. So... <laughs> Actually, I don't know if you've heard about uh, there are rules to competitions. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. You break them, you cannot actually win. <laughs> like, oh, oh shit, right. I didn't know. Like, well, you're a fucking idiot. Movie over. <laughs> <laughs> mom shows up and goes, I told you. And he goes, I, you're right, yeah, Mom. I fucked up. You're He's right. Like, Did you see anybody else doing that? Crew? He's like, well, no, they're not as smart as me. Yeah. I'm really good. Well, then he then he went on. He read it as SATs. He became a lawyer. Great. Yeah, yep. done deal. That's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> done fucking rad two. <laughs> rad two. Crew Jones is a lawyer. <laughs> rad two. The trial of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Trials and tribulations. Rad two. Oh man. But th- then you get to the end. He qualifies, and then Talia Shore shows up. Right. Yeah. Uh, Shire. 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 I always say Shore. Uh, she shows up, and there. This might be the scene, though, to me, where Bill Allen like shows off his best chops that he possibly has. Is I when, think he, you're when right. he talks about like it's the only thing I'm good at, like, and you know I think that would be I, for, AJ probably knows the quote. I think yeah, it's the goes. only thing I'm good at. It's like it's like I could take those SATs anytime. Six yeah, months like, from now, maybe. Yeah, 
to give that up now would be. Uh, yeah, I started off as one in a thousand. Now I'm one in twenty. Now I'm one in maybe 20. the best in the world. Yeah, that's right. And I think to give that up would be very self destructive. <laughs> and I, I, his mom I, just like yeah. Dude, I, I kind of felt that though. Like, put yourself back to the sixteen to twenty-two year old range of the like. You should be going off to do these things, but yeah. you do have a talent right. that you have to at least explore. Yeah, and and people don't understand that. Like the, for us, that being the music thing, right? right. Like we Fuck all, college, I'm going on tour. I have to try this. Uh, I had I had a very similar conversation with my dad. A hundred percent. Mine was like in college, and I was like, "No, I'm going to go. We're going to try this music. We have thing. to We're, try. We have to try. And like, I can go back to school if I really want to do that. Yes. Did your dad also walk? I don't know how many miles to wherever you were at, and just <laughs> randomly show up while, when you just won. No, I went to his office. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Took the she, initiative there. She, she does. She just kind of floats in and out of this movie, doesn't she? <laughs> she does. She's just like, yeah, it's about it. It's just, I mean, it, you can definitely tell, like, what, what Mike said, the detail of, like, it's it's like her husband's production company. You, you can tell it's a favor. It's like, and you she's need at, at least one name in this, honey. And, like, the, the <laughs> day that she did, like, it seems like she just did probably just a day of work. And the day that she did, she was just kind of pissed off at him. <laughs> you know, just, I, I'll say my fucking lines with some conviction, I, I guess. You know, <laughs> you know, I was in Rocky, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, <laughs> Oscar winning. <laughs> what do you want from me? What do you want? Because I basically just want you to do exactly what you did in Rocky, just here. And I want you to kid, give a shit, honey. And not your husband. It's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> I'm a fighter. Okay. I was one in a thousand. Now I'm one in twenty. One in twenty. I do what? have to make mention, guys, of maybe the funniest line or, or sequence in this movie was just before he does the qualifier. Okay. And it's when he rushes into work and he throws on his apron yes. and, and his coworker says, late again, crew. And you just see, like, oh, I'm sorry, Blob. I don't have a watch. And he just <laughs> mouths the word Bob. The name's, the name's Bob, Bob. <laughs> not Blob. Not Blob. He's a smart ass. <laughs> he's, just, like, he's just mouthing it the whole time. Like, uh, bah, 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 I really bah, bah, bah. like that guy. I know, it's great. Even at the end, he's like, oh, yeah, I know that kid. I taking, know that the kid. Dude, taking the girl's popcorn and yeah. shit. Oh, yeah, Cruz, my buddy. Fingers popcorn. <laughs> 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 And it's like they did that multiple times too, because he's just like he's like looking at her while fingering the popcorn, but can like can't quite get it. He's yeah, like, he's oh, there it is. Okay. There it is. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I love that guy. That is pretty good. Funniest line. All right, so scene four: Duke Best is scared that Crew will beat Bart Taylor and offers Crew a position on the Mongoose team if he lets Bart win. Crew says no. Duke then begins changing the rules to keep Crew out of the race. After adapting to every rule change, Crew is finally ready to give up on the last rule change attempt from Best. But wealthy business owner Burton Timmer and the rest of the townspeople help Crew out. So when he when he's summoned by the bad guy, the evil mm. white man villain of this movie. Dude, classic, classic. I'm in a limo. Come get in my limo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah was classic. it a limo? No, it was, it was a, a town Lincoln car. Continental How did he know yeah. where he was? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How did he know like what car he was in? <laughs> he texted them. Uh, find yeah. my friends. So. Oh, yep. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He said, "Here's my location." Yep. But first, he runs into your girls. <laughs> my girls. Yeah. yeah. Foxy and Tiger. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Re- the Bengals rejects. <laughs> 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 Exactly what they were. They didn't say much either. No, they, they didn't. He tries. To, he tries to like avoid them, and they and they like kind of cut him off. I was like, "Hey, look at our fucking tits. Yeah, <laughs> check these out." <laughs> but he is checking them out. Oh, he he's is. Like, he's, he's doing the sideways. Yeah. Like, I wish I had dark sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit. They, but then they go the two the two Bengals rejects go in the store and they yeah. they like make fun of the fashion. Yeah, uh, I meant this for you earlier. Uh, did you know who? So Becky. Was mm-hmm. the friend was Luke's? I guess boyfriend, girlfriend, Luke and Becky. Yeah. I always knew yeah. there'd be something. Then doesn't Cruz say that later in the film? I think so. Yes. He's like, oh, I, I knew it about them or yes. something. Yes, we all knew it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, her real name is Marta Kober. She is Sandra in Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Duh! Holy shit! I've been trying to like figure her fucking face yes. out the yeah, entire no, time. I, I totally, I totally remember <laughs> that movie. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you horror, are you horror people out there? I'm gutted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Straight I didn't say gutted, it. dude. Thank you. Thank you, Mike, for saying yeah, that. That's all, that's all. She's, get, she's great in it. Yeah. Oh, she's fantastic. Yeah. We get, we get our, uh, our yeah, drama here. This whole, this whole scene is the drama of 
of big versus small, right? Like money versus poor, big mm-hmm. city versus small city. <laughs> David versus Goliath. You said titty, but yeah. Did I say titty? I think so. Uh-huh. I, I've had a lot of Cedar Ridge whiskey. It's fine. I'm glad like you did. show you this next bottle. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <look at> that. <laughs> Thank God we're Cheers. spending the night. Yeah, uh, yeah but uh, this is maybe where the adult in me was like, hmm. We're due for a montage. What the fuck's going on here? Yeah, boy, we haven't had a it, montage it seems, in like thirteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be going on like after the peak of thunder in your heart qualifying. We go a long time before we get any more action. And yeah. so, like when yeah, he's like deliberating with him in the car, it's weird because it seems like they wanted that whole scene to play out. Yeah, but then they shot more scenes with with the bangles. Right. Um, just like. <laughs> in the store being all bitches and stuff and stuff yeah. like that but then they cut back to crew and and the guy <laughs> just and and it and it's right. it's it cuts to like them concluding their conversation it seems like they were like we don't like the middle of the conversation happened but they cut that out yeah, yeah, yeah. and put that other scene in there just because they're like it's it's bad right or something like that you know that's true i, 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 it just I seems a little off it, it's like they just kind of don't leave anything like there's nothing even left to imagination. You just don't even really know. It's just like, oh, he must have gave him an offer. I mean, that seems like he might want to take an offer. And we finally do find out later on that right. he, he does. Yes. He asks him to throw the mat, the the, the big game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically. It seems like the editor was like, okay, Hal, need him. I feel we we need to like we, this scene is not working with these actors. We would we, we'll just cut it. But like, we don't have anything else. Like, we got them the bitches shopping. We'll just put that in there, you know. Do you really want this to be ambiguous? The old guy asking the young kid into the car to ask him to do something say that he doesn't want to do? They say it <laughs> Are later. Are you sure? Yeah, Are you sure, Needham? Are you sure? It's fine. <laughs> I Bert's on Bert's on the phone right now. I, I got to take it. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, on further watch, you, I used to think that Burton Timmer, Tim Burton, the old man... That he was, we we falsely right. accused him of being a bad guy. Yeah, he's, he's a good guy. He's crotchety. Not really. Like but he's on, not. On, on Critical Rewatch, he's just moving where the money is. Right. He does not give a fuck about Crew Jones and his kids. He's just like, man, okay, I think they're actually going to do some good here, and I'm going to back up my monetary things here, and I'm going to make sure that uh, – I'm wealthy when Dude, this is if, all over. I don't if, give a fuck. If, if this guy lived in 2021, that guy would have so much crypto and so many <laughs> yes. NFTs. <laughs> NFTs yes. He'd just be all up in it. Yes. Dude, I have zero genius. idea what NFTs are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you said it. Yeah. yeah. I know I know what the term is. I just, I, it's good. I'm so lost. You're great, good start. You're a great good guy. start. <sighs> You're a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, AJ, tell me this. Is yes, there When they need a sponsor and they get the restaurant, right, or... No, it's just they just make crew. They just shirts. make their own shirts. They just yeah. make crew shirts to m- gain some money and everything yes, like that. So yes. you tell me, you're a, you have your own business called Wolf Den Wears. Yes, uh, very very cool clothes, very awesome. Um, wears. Thank Ex- you. Very expensive. Yeah. They're very high quality. Expensive. Yeah. Yes. Very very comfortable stuff. Um, do you just buy shirts and make stencils? And then just paint the logo. Yeah, I use I use a special kind of paint roller. It's yeah. probably not as fluffy as the one there is. Okay, okay. But uh, but yeah, I just basically take a paint roller. But they had the technique right. Oh yeah, saying. no, okay, it's okay. genius. Cool, cool. Genius. Yeah, no, it was it was amazing. And those are built to last, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. making sure. I, it's I just, like anything, man. You take care of your equipment; it'll last forever. Giving people behind the scenes, you dude. Know, oh yeah, you know, you know, showing a little bit of that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I appreciate that. No, it's it's great. It is the <laughs> no. most frustrating thing to watch <laughs> when you see them that they're, they're doing this, and you're like, oh my god, this is not how things work. <laughs> and but they did it. I mean, you know what? I I have to applaud it because that's like. That's like bare bones. That's yeah. That's true. Bootstrapping your way to the top, right there. Was it ten bucks a shirt? Ten, that, bu- ten bucks a shirt. That's a, good, that's a yeah. solid, solid deal. Ten bucks back there in nineteen eighty five six. What is that, so, AJ? Off the top of your head, <laughs> twenty three dollars. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna double check that while you guys talk. <laughs> I I do I do like the the like obviously the town is like rallying against mm-hmm. or rallying for crew. Like that story is kind of fun to me. Like, it seems like a small town, right? It's pretty fucking small oh, town. Oh yeah, Cochrane. Yeah, um, I I do like that aspect of like the the town is helping this one kid out, like the one kid that'll make it out of this yeah. town. You yeah, yeah. And even uh, Sergeant Slaughter shows up and he has that speech where he he does that pause. Yeah. Like, then I guess we're just gonna have to. 
live with ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Just a long ass pause on that speech yeah. for dramatics. So dramatic. Yeah, so, so and then dramatic. and then he like rallies them to where the townspeople say, "Yeah, we should help," and they they raise like seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> they like they're counting it, going, "We might have enough." It's only seven dollars. They, they they raised like they raised like maybe five grand or something like yeah. that. It was something like and I they think needed fifty. You needed fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> And it's like I don't know, man. It like that was the big thing. By the way, ten dollars worth about twenty five dollars. Mm. That's about point. that's about right. That's a good quality shirt. Yeah. That's a, that's about a high 20, quality shirt bucks. right there. That's right. That's there your you that's your uh, tri blend, maybe. That, yeah, that's that's yeah. some Bella Canvas tri blend. Oh yeah, uh, you know, cotton poly rain. Confusedbreakfast Get yeah. some merch. Yeah. There you go. Head there. So Just switched over to Redbubble. It'll ship anywhere the fuck you want. Yeah, it. Anywhere yes. you fucking want. And no a more of this matter. bullshit. It's, don't don't don't. If you had a bad experience, <laughs> yeah. we're good. We we're, we're good now. <laughs> <laughs> we're sorry. It's not us. I swear to God. <laughs> Big cartel, more like shitty cartel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's more I'll like, cut that out if you want More like to. drug cartel. <laughs> 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 All right, let's finish this. All right. <laughs> Last scene. So during the Hell Track race, Duke bribes the Reynolds twins to take out crew, but they fail. In the final stretch of the race, Taylor and crew face each other. Crew ultimately wins Helltrack, and Duke Best drops Taylor from Mongoose Racing. Dejected from losing his teammates, sponsorship, and friends, Crew offers Taylor a spot in the rad racing team. So a little bit further back on this, I do like we do get our next montage of, oh, yeah. of Crew and uh, My bad. They had to let off some steam. Yeah, a crew and Christian just like going off, and then another song starts. Yeah. And they're doing their same old little things. I'm, I, I'm doing like, their same they ass did ass sliding slide, before. Sex walk, whatever. I'm it assuming is. they did like the 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 pole ride next yeah. or something like that. Right. Um. <laughs> but at, um, after they jump into the lake with their bikes, which is can't be good for the bikes. No. Looks. Um, he has to race with that, by the way. Exactly. Oh, that, that, oh, correct. That is his bike that he's racing with. That's My bad. We got 33 and one on it. You know, like. How'd they get those out of there? Yeah. Um, they get to, like, the fort, I think. I think they go to the fort. They go to, like, some pavilion or something like that. <laughs> like, no, I think that's their clubhouse. <laughs> okay. The fort. <laughs> I think it's the clubhouse they were in earlier. Um, <laughs> she's making a fire and, like, trying to cook some hot cocoa or whatever. He's li- he's doing the 80s main character. Peer off. Into looking the- off into the distance while the lady talks. He's like, what's wrong? What is wrong with you? He's like, I'm just thinking about all the burden on my shoulder and what I got to <laughs> do tomorrow. And I just want to win, but like, I don't want to let anyone down. And I also could take those SATs, but like, I really want to win and everything. And then she's like, Oh, God. oh, 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 oh. cut that shit. Out. <laughs> uh, it's just fun. Like, I, I mean, at least it's a better kiss than karate kid. Oh, good oh. Lord. Um, <laughs> good yeah. Lord. She doesn't, dude. he doesn't try and inhale her, I guess. <laughs> inhale her entire head. <laughs> The fucking Princess Bride, the fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rat tongue. So, so right. as a child, <laughs> Hell Track was the coolest thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. And yeah. I think, and I think I read Sean, you might be able to back this up that 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 they the initial design of that track was so tall. That first wall was so tall that yeah. they were all like, "No, fuck the that. professional bikers, the we're not BMXers, were just yeah. like, no." We're yeah. not we're not doing it. Yeah. And so they sh- they shortened it they, to 25 feet in the air. Yeah. Uh to eventually finally make them do it. But I always wondered as a kid I'm like how are they going to do four laps of this? It is so hard to ride your BMX bike up hills and over ramps. Uh, yeah. and, and it turns out that in a lot of these behind the scenes that have come out, they've said that they had to shoot that in spurts. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. they, they just, they're like, we can't, they shot it. They shot it in like sections of the track. Yeah. So like the S's they shot separately. They shot it like 90 times. And then like the, the big old jump they shot separately. Jesus. Uh, and then like the one jump as well, where they get onto the landing or whatever, they shot that separately yeah. too. It was just, they were like professional BMXers yeah. couldn't do this track. Yeah. But but that's that's the fucking cool factor of this movie, especially what drew people in back in the eighties, nineties when they saw this movie is that yeah. was so cool. Yeah. We all thought, man, wouldn't it be cool if we could do that? That'd be awesome. It'd be amazing, right? Yeah, it'd oh, be amazing. Yeah. Supposedly somebody built re- like rebuilt that in their backyard somewhere <laughs> really? in America for a while. Uh, that's well, what I heard. I'll tell you what, if we we'll we'll do it, we'll rebuild like it to scale in my backyard. Cool, cool. Okay, because I have a map that came with the DVD. Yes. 
box set. Oh shit. <laughs> the Blu-ray, Blu-ray box set. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I've got I've got a map, so we could rebuild it. Um and we'll just do that in my backyard. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It'd be cool. It'd be like some Tony Hawk shit, dude. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be like one fifth scale <laughs> like the, the L track. <laughs> I also want to say a little earlier than like, the actual race is when like he makes up with Christian. Yeah, yeah. Does it in the most awkward, weird way. You got the quote? They're at the they're at the ice cream shop and I well I don't I don't think I have the quote but they're just like in front of the sign where there's two people sharing an ice cream cone and they do yeah. the same thing I'm just like oh <laughs> oh uh. what what is what was that it was cheesy for you guys or yeah, yeah. okay okay will you Creamy. be my friend <laughs> yeah <laughs> like what does he say said, right? well no so i was thinking of when when she meets up they've already made up she meets up with them at the right before hell track and he goes oh, yeah. man what i wouldn't give to go ass sliding, sliding with, with you, you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best line of the movie best line of the movie great god what i wouldn't give to go ass sliding with you right now <laughs> whoa <laughs> <laughs> hey baby all right it's a real mudslide <laughs> <laughs> but our boy, our boy Hollywood Mike Miranda is the one that falls three different times during the movie, oh, which dude. it has been pointed out. Like Sean said, the dude has gone on a show and has said that he made five hundred dollars for each time that he fell. An yeah. extra fifteen hundred dollar check, fifteen hundred bucks for that. He's yeah. gone on record and said that. Man. Which I know my friend Nick is listening because this is his favorite movie. Hollywood Mike Miranda, there's our answer. We've always wondered, like, how would he let? He was a professional writer. How would he let himself like look so bad in this movie? Fifteen hundred bucks. There I would do is. that too. The announcer, which is the equivalent of four thousand one hundred twenty-seven dollars. If you guys pay me fifteen hundred bucks right now, I would look like I would do like horrible at a podcast. I would just, I would, I, I just tank the whole thing. Oh, yeah. so you, so you take yourself from ultra level Sean. It's just to so just fucking shit. funny. Yeah. Just like the best <laughs> one on the show. <laughs> yeah. To yeah. like. Right down here for fifteen hundred dollars. Like never done it in your life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So <laughs> <laughs> I do like I do like too that Sergeant Slaughter like is <laughs> all right. <laughs> that was good. Oh, okay. It. Thank you. See funniest one. Uh, <laughs> I <just> know. <laughs> Sergeant Slaughter's like on his side now and uh says Gold Balls Out. Yeah. Which was the original title of this film. It wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have worked, man. It uh, worked. Like if you title your film Rad there's no way. I mean, I guess there is a way because we just got through that. Yeah. That there, there's, there's gonna be bad press for you, like or like they're gonna take the name and put it into like a little pun. You yeah. know, I guess it could be like rad is bad. Yeah. That's whatever. Not yeah. so they, radical. Yeah, but they they can't say <laughs> like, like okay. if if the movie was called like <laughs> Dead on Arrival. It was like, well, yeah, this movie was dead on arrival. Turns you out know? it was. So, yeah. like, if it's like called balls out, it's like it doesn't go balls out or something. Like, balls you're setting, in. You're already setting yourself up for failure with a dumb title like that. So I'm glad they changed it. You know. <laughs> I also heard the international title was Hell Track. Oh, nice. Because we've be run into a few movies where in the '80s they were named something completely different in Australia. Or right. Right. Or Great Britain or whatever. So that to our Australian listeners or or other other people around the world that was it hell track for you did you have you ever seen this movie let us know mm. we'd love yeah. to know man mm. that'd be awesome oh my heart a backflip <laughs> oh my <laughs> the guy is like a it's like the mighty ducks announcer he's, man it's crucial he's got a very good voice though well what's this mark taylor slowing down he wants crew down all himself <laughs> <laughs> he wants him one on one. We'll we'll get to that side by side. Here they a, come across. I have a problem with that, but I do like when they're introducing all of the racers. Yeah, it, the, all of them have such derpy faces, yeah. and because like, those are all real riders, and they all they don't know how to be on camera. Somehow. Yeah, <laughs> and and that was maybe a bad choice. Like that takes four minutes of screen time. It does. Like it's just here's all twenty paint. racers. And sometimes the cut wasn't fast enough. Like yeah. if this were modern day Adobe Premiere, we'd just be like. We just fucking cut yeah. that shit. But the <laughs> like, one goes, Hollywood Mike Miranda riding for the GT team. Eddie Fiore. Eddie right? Fiore. <laughs> <laughs> GT. <laughs> Mongoose. <laughs> for Mongoose. Dino. The, tri- <laughs> the twins, Rad and Rex, riding for Mongoose. Bart Taylor, the one and only. And Crew Joe. <laughs> and the hometown hero, Crew Joe. <laughs> It, it is. It, uh, there's a few things that just go on a little too long in this movie. The other, critical. the other end of it too is like what really bothered me about this, and I don't know why it bothered me so much. But they go through and they're doing all the stunt guys, right? All the other, the other seventeen 
well, 16 like professional <laughs> yeah, BMX oh, yeah. riders, right? And every single one of them is just stinging the camera dead on. And they're yes. just like, and then they just like, they're just market and they'll just be like, Hollywood Mike Miranda. It's just like, <laughs> okay. And so it's like, and then you get to Crew Jones or like Bart, and they're like waving to the crowd <laughs> instead yeah, of yeah. stinging the yeah, camera. Absolutely. Kevin like, Darnaldson, he's yeah. just like, <laughs> <laughs> the guy in the GT team with the dirty ass mustache. The dirt too. mustache. Oh man, uh, dude, <laughs> it's pretty good. Everyone's stinging the camera except for the actual professional actors. He's <laughs> like, like, well, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> Apparently, it did. Was like, action. We have zero direction. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> we have zero direction. <laughs> Why? So Bart Taylor had him beat. Yes, he did. By a, by a long shot. By a long shot. I get, I get giving the guy a chance and everything like that, but this is a competition. Yes. Like, you want to remain the best? Yeah. You could have done that. Cause what let, do you guys think about let's this? Let's view it from someone watching on ABC that lives in Oregon. Right. <laughs> you know nothing about Crew Taylor or Crew Jones. Crew like, like, Crew Jones is just like, oh, he's the local guy. And he looks so, like a shitty evil Knievel on that bike. Like, <laughs> yeah. And he's wearing a hockey helmet. No big deal. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, <laughs> no, they don't. They're not going to go, oh, Bart, that guy's so good, and Bart wanted to prove his worth to this guy. Like, there's no internet. No. There's no chat rooms. It's so it's just, just this town that knows about yeah, Bart? Yeah, so that's all, and, like, that's all. So it was a terrible move on Bart Taylor. It was a very... Like, the worst thing he could have done for yeah. his career. He also took out one of his own teammates yes. on purpose, by the way. Rod and Rex, dude. Yeah. He, he, like, one of them, one of them got hung up beforehand and went off, but then it was like one of them ca- was right on his yeah. tail, yeah. and he tail whipped him basically and bumped him off and took him out. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he wants Crew Jones all to himself. Oh, yeah. He wants him one on one. Now we're going to have a <laughs> showdown here, folks. And, and, like, the law of physics applies here. Bart Taylor is at a complete stop. Crew Jones is going 15 miles right. an hour. <laughs> right. Like you're 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 not gonna do well in this. Equation. Several times, like even like the qualifying race earlier in the film, too, when they're like zooming towards the finish line, like doing the yeah. where, the, where the handlebars yeah. go back and forth, like going super fucking fast. It cuts to the one shot on the finish line, and they're going like very very slow just across the finish line, and then it cuts to them again, and like oh oh. oh. That's super fast. I, I just like to think of, of of Bart Taylor. He's like, oh, he wants he wants Crew Jones all to himself, and he's like, he's like, yeah, come on. And then he's got to do the oh, awkward shit. like try to get <laughs> <laughs> get going. He just can't quit. Ah, <laughs> this is why you should be watching our YouTube channel. Even if you listen to this podcast on audio, you gotta watch the movements right now. We all we all been there on the bike when you're kind of you're or kind you of slip on. and then it comes yeah. around and hits your shin. Hits your ah! shin. You're like, oh, damn it! Damn he's it. got dirt on his shoes and stuff, and like, and it's a slight incline, so it's even harder to get going. It's a bad move. You know, it's a bad move on his part. <laughs> it's just I all understand. I can think of, man. I and, do. And for for mongoose to then drop him, the best. He's still the best rider yeah. in the world. Yeah, exactly. That's like you're you finished, know, kid. It's like Tom Brady ten years ago having one bad game and then being like, "Get off the team, you yeah. suck." Yeah, like yeah. you're still the best in the world. We'll keep you. Right. Hopefully, you learn from this, you young dumb fucking idiot. Exactly. Well, I guess he's just like, well, I'm done with, I'm done with like the money grubbing and I'm done with like all the the fame and everything like that. I'm just gonna go to this. Puppin' Suds yeah. equivalent, <laughs> you know? Team Puppin' Suds. <laughs> like, I just... <laughs> um, <laughs> I do, like, maybe the best freeze frame yes! we've had yeah. on Raise this the bike, show. Freeze the frame. Uh, what... Whose idea was yeah. that? <laughs> He's like, I, I suppose now Rad Racing is probably has room on the team, huh? It's like, yeah, you bet we do. Lifts bike. Men- <laughs> Mentos, the fresh thing. <laughs> <laughs> all our, t- you know, I usually make about six to seven TikToks a week. They're just all going to be Mentos. All going to be Mentos commercials. <laughs> it's all it's going to be. That's, that's, I think that's it. That's all I got, man. That's it, man. All right, so we've stripped away the nostalgia. That is what we do. We try to view it with a critical eye, and we try to come up with our rating. Critically, as adults, AJ, we're going to start with you. What do you think, man? What do you think this movie Your rating name starts is? with A. I still love this movie. Honestly, 
I'll keep this real short and simple. I love this movie the exact same way and as much as I did when I was a kid. I'm going to stay where I'm at in 8 point. What was it? 6. 8.6. 8. 8. 8.6 for me. I'm s- I'm sitting there. 8. I'm 6. steady. I'm rock solid on this movie still. It's it's I know it's still very campy at this point. It's wonderful. I love it. I he love didn't it. fully strip the nostalgia away. How about you, Sean? Hey, I'm going <laughs> to I didn't. I'm going to go with AJ as well and just keep it short and simple and just say one word. Or describe this movie as one <laughs> word. <laughs> I would use a lot of words. This movie's rad. Oh! This, I mean, like what? Like it is. Like it's a good title. It's fun. It's 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 cheesy. Like it's it's poorly made in some parts, <laughs> but that's what's fun about it too. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Like I, I'm I'm gonna say the same. I think too. I'm just gonna be a five. Fiver. It's fully. I'm sorry. I have to interject for. That's just fine. A, just a quick thought that it is. I think there are just some points where it's almost impossible to strip away your nostalgia completely. And although I want to do that. I think that, you're right. And I've tried. I really yep. did try. But I'm staying where I'm at. You know, like you say, it's it's still the same way. It's still, still great. I, man, I gave it a 10 <clears throat> as a child. And I can't, I can't in good conscience still give it a 10. Because that's my modern day rating of like, what's the best movie I've ever seen currently. Right. It's not this movie, yeah. but man, it is really hard to strip away that nostalgia. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Cause I fucking love this movie and it gave me all the feels still. I haven't watched it in 10, 10 years, maybe since, since up until now. And I, yeah. it still gave me the, the vibes, but I got to try my best here. I got to try to bring it down. I'm probably, in the grand scheme of things, using the same measurement I've used all along, I'm like I'm like a six point nine on that show. Nice. Hmm. Six point nine. You're wow. with the audience, I think, for right. Uh, that that is correct, I yeah. Am so that puts us our group rating as a six point eight three. If you want to know where that lands for all the movies we've done, that is just under Burbs, just above speed. Wow. <laughs> there you go, Mike. It's fucking <laughs> you did damn it. time. You <laughs> fucking did it. it a, Got an intro in there that you like a, a lot more. Better I, intro. I and, and here's one thing I want to say. Uh, mm. th- I read this on uh, Pop uh, Optic. Pop Optic, I just typed in like uh, rad reviews, just trying to see some things. This guy said it perfectly. He said, Rad is a time capsule, and virtually every frame of the film acts as a love letter to a bygone era and a less cynical time. Rad is a nostalgic gem. Mm. Yeah. That's it. I, I mean, they nailed it, dude. Like, just those vibes. I, I, I got to leave it. I got to leave it at that. It's the perfect yeah. movie. Like, when I say that it was when it was bunched between and Harry and the Hendersons and yeah. um, Bloodsport. Yeah. It's, it's that kind of movie, man. Like, if you, if you, uh, sit down with a bunch of friends, get some pizza, get some beers. You're gonna have such a fucking good time watching this movie. Yeah. And if you don't, I don't. You do, you don't have a heart. <laughs> it's not beaten. Papa Mentos, enjoy this Please. movie. Well, we hope you enjoy the episode. It means the absolute world to have you here. Hope uh, everything went well for the holiday season for yeah. you. Hope you're ready for the new fucking year. Tune in next Wednesday for another great episode. We're going to review the original Matrix. We've got to get out of shit. the 80s. We've had too much 80s here. We've we got we to step out of the 80s in honor of the new movie coming out. Maybe on Patreon we'll do a review of the new Matrix. We probably will. Okay. Uh, and after that, it's bobsled time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Cool fucking running. Our Lord and yeah. Savior, John Candy, is back. He's back, baby. It's We're like not every quitting. three movies or so, we yeah. had John Candy there. We're just, we're just not going to quit on him. Nope. Yep. And if you are new to the podcast or newer to the podcast, go back. We're trying to give you the one-year anniversary of some episodes. Uh, sure. Go back to December. End of December of last year, Karate Kid, just waiting for you. That was Perfect. a fucking great episode. Oh, yeah. Look at that timing. Yeah. Oh, wow. We yeah. got the fucking wish, Johnny Lawrence, and the real Johnny Lawrence. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for listening, guys. Please stay in touch with us by following on all of our social media platforms. At Confuse Breakfast on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and Confused Be Fast on Twitter. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast and leave a review on the podcast platform of your choice right now. Also, we have merch. You know you want to rep the Confused Breakfast in public. Mugs, stickers, shirts, all kinds of goodies. Go to confusedbreakfast.com for a direct link. And don't forget about our voicemail number, 319-804-9596. Links to everything you could ever need from us are in the show notes or at confusedbreakfast.com. This includes a way to follow all of us individually in our personal projects that we want you to check out. Mission of the day, tell your friends about us. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Come
mic, as they say. That's why I slay. The, yep. Every day. <laughs> Every day. I'm the rhyme Nasserus. My lyrics are bottomless. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>